second race of the evening will be Denmark versus Australia. Emil Brehm and Esmen Yero for Denmark and Keenan Roo and James Pearson for Australia. Australia will be in helmets, colours red and blue. Denmark will be in white and yellow. As I say, it looked like the inside gates. You could clearly see that actually Klima had got the better of uh, young Gilks there momentarily, but tight coming out of the corners and was able to squeeze him up down the straight. And that is one of the challenges of this track mm. in Riga, no question about it, as it squeezes up and it's narrow down the straights. You really have got to be clinical when you make an overtaking manoeuvre. Yeah, and that, that characteristic of the narrow straights will actually make it a little bit more difficult to team ride because uh, it's easy to, to run your team partner into the mm. narrow entry to the corner and just run him wide. Keenan Rue will be off the inside in the red helmet colour. James Pearson out of gate number three in blue. Gate number two is Bruem, and off the outside in yellow will be Espen Yerold. Second race of the evening, green light is on, tapes up into the first corner. Keenan Rue's made a super start. What a move there from no. young uh, James Pearson back to the inside, although he's got beaten up down the back straight. With the Danish pair coming through there, Emil Bruem coming through nicely. As did uh, James Pearson has now gone back to fourth place, which is a disappointment for him after a strong start. But uh, Bruem and Yerold with the point scoring you have in Speedway of Nations, they are sitting on five points here with Keenan Rue four. So, yeah, strong start from them. But Rue once again off the inside gate has made uh, good headway out in front. Yeah, gate one appears to be the advantageous gate right now, but uh, once again, the uh, man in front is clearing off, riding much wider than anybody else uh, so far this evening. He's uh, out in the, the wide, deep stuff already, but uh, it is the Danes that pack out the uh, minor places to take the advantage in this yep. one, and Gerald was... Uh, very tough coming into turn three on the opening lap up the inside there of James Pearson. Keenan Rue then wins comfortably with Denmark packing in for second and third. Australia picking up four points, five points for Denmark. With Bruem and Gerald coming through strongly at the early stages of the race to pick up the all-important second and third to start their evening off with five points. Fortunate there for James Pearson. He just got beaten up. And the first lap, so five points for Denmark with Bruem and uh, Jesben, uh, Espen Yerolds. Four points for Keenan Rue and James Pearson. All the points coming from Keenan Rue there. But that inside gate, Chris, does look like it could be advantageous. And, and the characteristics of this track, it could remain so throughout the evening. Yeah, for sure. And uh, he actually doesn't make a clear start there, Keenan Rue, but he's pretty forceful in the first turn. James Pearson looks like he's made all the right moves on the first turn, but Brehm and then Gerald there sort of straightening him up as they get down, turns the bike latest. It's almost like outbreaking your opposition as they get to the corner and uh, surprises Pearson somewhat. Oh, we can see there Emil Broom just lifting off the corner, but Keenan Rue looks uh, very, very comfortable and very quick out front.